as I was trying, I guess the ancestors know what I was wanting to ask, and I don't know what the heck happened to my cards, but they all flung out, like, I don't know what the crap happened, but I'm going to pick them up from the floor and see what we... Uh, okay, third party. Okay, my cards are just flicking at me, so there's a message here about what else is to this false informationing. So, I'm going to pick up all these cards, and I don't know how they're supposed to go, but I guess I'll go with the flow. It's like, goodness gracious. Like, just flew out of my hands. All right. Okay, I guess the ones flipping up, I guess it's for the false informationing, and the ones that are flat down are for the three of cups. Alrighty. Reverse, 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 reverse. Alright, so I'm going to have to remember that they're all in reverse. Alright. Goodness gracious, ancestors. They just like exploded. Goodness gracious. Alright, there's mystery. The false informationing is being found out about. And then the courage... Then we got power and control, pretty much. Somebody's trying to bring order to the table. Somebody's breaking rules by making a false informationing. Then spiritual, meaning the person's not very spiritual, not a spiritual person. Somebody thinks they got style. Somebody thinks they got skill. Somebody thinks they can mess with your emotions. And that needs to change to the false informationing. Yeah, trying to bring order, control, trying to break rules. So it can mean spiritual laws too, emotions, trying to mess with your emotions because they have low self-esteem issues. They need to heal. There's angelic guidance. Somebody's trying to use their charm. Trying to use their charms, their looks, to get what they want done, pretty much, is how I'm seeing it. Goodness gracious. Yeah, so it's already being figured out that somebody wants to be a rebel who wants to break rules... Then, got that. Then, let me see. Somebody's trying to use their looks. Something sense of humor. Something about leadership. And fancy. Alright, so I'm going to need the book out to see what is this has to do with the false informationing, I don't know if this is what's about to happen. But it's being found out about that there was a false report made. And uh, somebody thinks that this is very comical. Because if you're going to make a report, it cannot be false. Because something in the energy flow thinks this is hilarious. How somebody made a false report. Alright. Let me look up spirituality real quick because that's in reverse. Alright. Mindfulness, prayer, practice. So, somebody is not being mindful about what is being found out about this false report or false informationing. Somebody is not being mindful to what can happen in the energy flow as of right now. Yeah, order... Yeah, teamwork, organization, organization, 
Disruption. Yeah, so this is actually being known to people trying to be in a teamwork, trying to have power and control because they have low self-esteem issues. And it's very hilarious because it's being found out about at that too. Somebody literally is not a leader quality at that too, but there needs to be healing. There needs to be change of somebody's skill of not being mindful. So this is also confirming that there is teamwork in this false information -ing. all right teamwork means working together with others at that too trying trying to bring order meaning trying to control you trying to bring disruption but they brought disruption to their selves so uh let's find out what is this three of cups about with the upside down. Transition. Self love. They do not love themselves. Yeah. They don't like. How your instincts are kicking in. I'm going to have to look this up though. To make sure. Let me see. Yeah, changes movement. Yeah, there there's no changes or movements or new beginnings from making a false report at this time. So, yeah, power is um, force engagement. So that means somebody is trying to force engagement of people to trying to do something and they cannot change this. So... They cannot change what they've done. They cannot movement anymore with trying to have people in a group trying to control you, people in a group. There is no there is no new beginnings for these people. So let's go to self-love real quick. Guess the cards wanted to speak. Okay, self love is in reverse. Yeah, low self esteem. They don't feel beautiful, and they cannot acceptance themselves, and they are not self caring. So they're more concerned about having low self esteem with what's been brought out to the light. It is being found out about. There are groups of people. And there's teamwork that's been found out about, about this false report. So there's multiple people in this mix who is trying to be a rebel. There's people trying to mess with emotions, but there's angelic protection. And then somebody's trying to use their looks at that too. So no new movement. They cannot accept. They need to worry about their selves. They, do, they don't have self-care at this time. Let me see. There's going to need healing. Um, I don't know why vision came out. But somebody's using their third eye. Using their discernment at this time too. Okay, since I can't find the card right now. Okay, there it is. Yeah, skill. Their skill is whack. Alright. Ring the alarm and wake up already. So people need to wake up and understand that you cannot keep 
doing false reports on someone, you cannot change the outcome of what somebody has done. It's time for them to wake up and there is an alarm ringing. Yeah, instincts in reverse. Game plan, groundwork. So these people have no longer have a game plan. They cannot move. They cannot change. They can't do anything. They have no game plan. It is stopped completely in their tracks. Because truth is getting out about the false report. That's why they can't move in the reverse of a resistance. They are not going to regret this. It's a blockage. So they pretty much tried to, pretty much they put blocks on themselves. They are going to be in a mood where they're going to have regret of trying to be the Three of Cups, meaning involvement. So there's a lot of people in the mix here who are involved at this too. They are somewhat not going to refuse a pushback. That they done it to themselves. So this instinct, their game plan, how the way they don't love themselves, they cannot move or change what already happened. If they've already did a false report, it's already there. They cannot move. Their instincts, they do not love themselves. And the refusal... Is that they put blockages on themselves. They cannot open anything right now. So somebody needs to wake up and understand there is a wake up call coming. There is a reality check. From trying to get others involved. In this crap. And that's what it's humorous about. They try to go after somebody. Who knows what they're talking about. This is where they were trying to bring order. And they cannot do it. They can't. Because the universe won't let them. And they're not very mindful. Of what other people might know too. They're naive at this time. Very, very, very naive. Meaning they don't care. But at the same time, they do not like your instincts. Is what I'm feeling at this time. They don't like you understanding this at this time. But you know how I look at it? They, they all thought they were fancy. They all thought they had it all together, right? Apparently... The universe just spewed out all the cards because these people's minds are scatterbrained. Meaning, they are literally, they don't understand how you know that pretty much of how you know and how you understand. They do not understand tarot. They do not like spiritual people. They don't. And pretty much, they have low self-esteem. This is where the problem is. They all had courage to be um, cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. And then come to find out that it is being found out that they are in groups of trying to do something they should have really thought about. That's not being mindful of why a person speaks out. They need inner healing. They do. But they're not going to admit it. But at the same time, they have blocks on them, meaning whatever whatever they were trying to do, trying to plan, it's not working out in their favor. Their false information, trying to get others in the mix of trying to do the Three of Cups, it's not going in their favor right now. It is not. They put blockages. They cannot think properly. Or that's where the confusion is coming in. So this might be an add-on. 
I believe they cannot move, meaning if they have gotten a hold of others, which is already confirmed, they cannot move. They cannot change what they've done. And this is why somebody's probably pissed off. Because somebody in their group messed up. And that's probably why there is... Probably to why somebody is angry, why they are not very mindful, is because now they know they can't help that other individual who did a false report. Because they probably seen what they've already done. And they cannot no longer have movement. They can no longer have people in a group. And it's already being found out about that, that too. What else is going on here? Spirit, if you don't spew the cards at me again. Yeah, four of wands. This has to do with the family dynamic. This has to do with trying to destroy family dynamics. So, from the false information in the false report, these family members of theirs are trying to destroy by trying to do something to a family member to another <clears throat> this is where they screwed up at all right this is where families are going to start getting involved this is where family should have stopped and this will mess up somebody's wheel of fortune. Alright. This will mess up somebody's wheel of fortune. I'm telling you, it's going to be bad, bad bloodline for somebody from trying to go after somebody else's family. So there's a family who is trying to ruin you. Because they're mad because their family fucked up by coming after you. And then we got the lovers. We got the dolphins. This and that is true. So this is also true of what they are trying to do. This is in the energy flow still as of today. This is why there are people mad, upset, because the family member on that side did not keep their mouth shut and did not think very thinkable. So, somebody could be mad at the fact that they cannot change and they cannot help. Because since the false report happened, there's Eight of Swords here. So, somebody is tied up and literally hands are tied and the eyes are covered. So, there could be possibly some people on that side of that family might be getting locked up. For trying, like mentally trapped, and could possibly be going to jail for making false reports. So somebody just literally did something and this and that is true. This is why those cards are in reverse. They cannot change what is the outcome. And it brought the tower by trying to mess. The tower means it's done, over with. The tower came. And they literally thought that it was going to bring the Nine of Cups. They literally thought that you were going to get the tower. But it's truthfully happening to these people. That these people thought they were going to have a wish fulfillment of trying to bring you the tower. But truthfully, they are losing that sensation of... Wish fulfillment. There's going to be a lot of family members in the mix here. That the tower is going to hit. There's going to be people really ticked off. That somebody, yep, and there's there's going to be that side. Their family is going to walk away, have nothing to do with them. Because there was false information. Did a false report. Knowing that there's proof. Of that family bothering. 
a lot of people. And it could be that maybe this person's family going to be walking away because another family member fucked up and didn't keep their mouth shut and try to start. So there's going to be something in the dynamic where there's somebody in that family dynamic that's going to be walking away from both of them. They're going to walk away and let them deal with their consequences. They wanted to be a rebel. They wanted to go out here, start shit with other family members. Pretty much from how I'm feeling to what I'm getting at. This and that is true. Their family members are going to make them to deal with their own shit on their own. Because they just brought bad blood to their family lines. And pretty much if their family members are going to walk away from them is because they should have known better. And they're not going to help you to false information on someone if somebody caused it first in that family. That's where the false information is. And it could be that maybe that family member is seeing proof of me being stalked. And they're going to be walking away from you and her. And let you deal with the tower that you brought to yourselves. Is what I'm feeling in this and that is true. That's really sad. And also these people could possibly know that you were doing something behind your guys' family members back. And there's tip or tat again. So that's what it was. It was all a freaking tip or tat. That's all it is. And that's why there's going to be family going to be walking away. Because I believe there's some type of dynamic here that these two just do not realize what they've done. If your family members are going to be walking away from you, it's because they know exactly who my family members are. And they're going to let you deal with the consequences. I believe your family is very smart to not get in the middle of it. Your family might know my family. And that's why they're letting you two deal with the consequences. Because I'm pretty sure your family has dealt with my family before. And it didn't turn out very well. So that could be a lesson for you twos. To stop running that mouth. And stop false information in on people. Is what I'm feeling in the energy flow. And there's going to be some people going to feel bad, but there could be family members on their part saying, don't you dare help them. Don't you dare try to false information because I know who that girl is related to. Don't you even get in the middle of it and don't you false information on that girl. I know who that girl is related to. I know her family. I know who she is. Do not get in the middle of it. Let these two deal with their consequences. So there's going to be other family members on their side. Who's going to tell others to leave these two in the dust and walk away from them. And let them deal with their bullshit of what they caused. So some of your family members are smart here to back off. And it could be some, some of your friends too are going to be backing off too. Your friends are probably going to walk away from her and you. Could be a possibility. Yep, inspiration. You know, there could be inspiration. So, I get the feeling that a family member on their part is teaching them a lesson. That, okay, you want to be a puppet on a string? You want to keep starting shit? Okay. You want to do this and that? Okay, so I will teach you a lesson. I will make your friends walk away from you. And... You want to be a puppet on a string? You want to listen to everybody and anybody instead of knowing the facts? Okay, then I'll make you feel entrapment. I'll make you feel like you can't go anywhere. I will make you feel like some family member here is going to teach somebody a very harsh lesson here. Yeah, and it will be put. Somebody is going to be put in grieving. They are going to cry. They are going to literally being so much grieving, like grief, sadness, depression, where they're not going to be able to handle it. Some people are going to feel so miserable that they're probably going to be wanting to pull some stuff. 
grieving. They're going to be in sadness. And that's the tower. The tower is going to bring grievement. Empowerment to the nine of cups. So yeah, so this this is where you think that you can go around doing false reports and doing false informationing and sticking up for the wrong reasons. That somebody literally thought they had empowerment over the situation, they don't. So that's where the tower is. Somebody's about to find out their empowerment is going to get them where they're going to have bad luck. They're going to have grief. And it's about a home dynamic. They're probably not going to be welcomed in anybody's home. They're probably not going to be welcomed in nobody's home. Because that family does not want to deal with what karma is coming your guys' way. These family understands that they may have dealt with my family before. And they knew what karma came their way. So your family is very smart to not get in the middle of it. Because there is karma being sent out. Like the ancestors do not play. They may have met my ancestors before. And they were probably petrified. And they probably know how strong my ancestors really are. So that's what it is. These family members of theirs is going to walk away. Their family is going to walk away from them and let them be in grief and grieving because they don't know what they just caused in the dynamic. They do not understand energy. They do not understand that some family members are not meant to be fucked with. And I strongly feel that. So these two are going to be taught a lesson there's family not going to want to have anything to do with you too. Because of you false reporting. Doing false informationing. And lying. Knowing. Knowing that your family member has saw my shit. And they saw her stalking my page. And you just did a false report on me. Whatever happens to you too. Your family is going to be walking the fuck away from you too. Out. Like, away. Like, they do not want this karma that is coming your guys' way. They do not want it. They do not want to deal with it. They probably warned you to not do this crap to anybody else. And you did not listen. You did not heave what your family has told you. You fuck with somebody's family. You fuck with the biker's family. We will not help you. That is your consequence. And that's what these people... Probably are about to find out the hard way. That you mess with the biker's family. They're going to have nothing to do with you. Because I'm pretty sure. They've had issues with my family before. And it never turned out well. So that's why they're walking away from you. And her. To teach you guys a lesson. To stop messing with certain people's family members. And that's where the grieving's going to be because you're going to be crying and begging for help to go to a home. Your friends are going to have nothing to do with this. You will literally not be welcomed in nobody's home because they do not want this karma. Could be maybe some people might be on the run. And you're going to try to go to home to home to home. They'll be like, nope, nope, I don't want no apartment. Or no, yeah, apart, well, it could be apartment. But they're going to tell you straight up, family and friends, I don't want nothing to do with you. You lied. You're on the run. I don't want to fucking hear it. Cry me a river. Boo-hoo. Get the fuck gone and get out of here. I'm not, I'm not going to about to help you. Because if people do get in the way of karma, they're going to get it. So these people are very smart to not be apart. <laughs> In the drama, they are very smart of understanding how karma works. You get in the middle of whatever needs to be said, whatever the ancestors have karma for. The false informationing and the false report, one of these two are going to be on the run. They're going to be wanting to go to home to home to friends and they're going to say, get gone. I have nothing to do with you. I saw you false information. I saw you made a false report. 
You mess with that girl's family, I don't want no part in it. That's where the grieving in the tower is going to hit. They cause their own demise of not understanding how serious energy works. These people are very smart. And I hate to put it like that, but I feel like that's what half of these half these energies are saying. That you wanted ACT UP. You went after some biker family. You were trying to disrespect. They will have nothing to do with you. Because once you get in the way of something, they're not going to want no part in it. They're going to actually teach you guys a very valuable lesson. It's going to put you in grieving. That you're probably going to have to deal with it on your own. Yeah, then there's going to have to be balance. <laughs> like I said, karma from false information, from trying to do false reports, something is out of balance. It's going to have to be restored. And guess what happens? When balance comes out in a card, karma has to happen in order to bring the balance back to normal. Meaning, since... I know what I've posted up has been truthful. Your story's not adding up. Her story's not adding up. Like I said, you're trying to hide trails and your family will not help you in this significant area. There's going to have to be karma in order for balance to come back. There's bad luck on your guys' side. There's going to have to be karma Justice, karma, divine order to happen to bring balance back to norm. This and that is true. That represents dolphins. So the inspiration, what is this about? Sixth chakra. Yep, connections, spiritual connections. So yeah, this is all about connections. Your connections are going to have wanting nothing to do with you both. The inspiration. Yeah, they're going to have want nothing to do with this. Because some people understand that this is not something that you play with. You are playing with spiritual laws. You are playing with the chosen one. And that's what's probably going to put you in grieving. Nobody would really want to have connections with you at the time because they don't want the karma. And you got first chakra. My, uh, Michael is out here to make sure that this tower, make sure that something is protected. Grieving could mean... That whatever was trying to be brought my way, he's protecting someone's family. And he's he's protecting one and not the other. And then you got empowerment with the thinking woman. So you got a thinking woman out here who tried to be playing something. And um, Michael said uh, he's here to protect somebody. And the others are so not protected. Now you got a thinking woman out here who tried to play at something, tried to play the universe, and God said, no, I don't think so. God said, go ahead, Michael, go down there, protect who you need to protect. Because people are going to learn that some people are protected and some people are not. That family wanted to bring hostilities to the table, into a home. This family is not protected. And Michael is here to protect the right, the righteous. He's going to protect who he thinks needs it. And I said, God and my ancestors don't play when it comes to me. He brought down Michael to protect. Because people are having attachments to the wrong things. 
And that's why your family and your friends and people who are around you and your family want nothing to do with you because you just did an attachment to where they do not want this karma. They do not want to deal with Michael. They do not want to deal with God's soldiers because of what you two did. Very powerful at that too. Very strong. Very, very strong energies. Like this is like the universe and the spiritual realm, which these people don't understand, that they were doing stuff in the spiritual realm. What you do in the spiritual realm, you manifest it first in the spiritual realm. And then once you keep doing it and don't stop, you keep doing it, you keep doing it, then eventually it's going to manifest into the physical. That's where the problem is and that's where the attachment is. Yeah, being two-faced, fake as fuck. I'm gonna walk away because the attachments to what they two, what they two just done. This family wants no part in it. They do not want this karma. They want you two to stand clear the fuck away from them. Because you guys dished it out, but you can't handle it. Yeah, there's resolution. You got travel. Conflict. And turmoil. Yeah. And I believe I had this same card out last night. With the same card with a term, uh, conflict. So yeah, there's going to be a resolution to travel. Because somebody made a deal. But problem is, is that they just caused their own turmoil. They just did their own conflicts by not leaving people alone. And there's people traveling. This is why your family will not welcome you or your friends. They will not welcome you in a home because they know what you've done. They know who's traveling. They don't want no part in it. They don't want this hostility in their home. Whatever you twos did, they have nothing to do with you. They're going to let you learn on your own and learn from your consequences. That then, you know what? And trying to hide it. <clears throat> yeah, sac secrecy. Yeah, trying to hide the fact of did a false report. Trying to hide the fact you had a part in it. Trying to hide the fact... Of what you did. And it's being revealed. The conflicts. The turmoil. Travel. Meaning you could have had people. That you got a hold of. To travel to start some shit. And it looks like it's backfiring. On yous. That's why your family and friends. Are not going to welcome you in their home. They are going to know what is being revealed. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. Too. And uh, people do not like it when you go out here and try to falsely accuse somebody who does not need it. This is where you're going to have to be careful. When you threaten anybody about the law and they got a biker family, that's where, that's where your family is going to let you and her deal with your own consequences. You do not threaten somebody's biker family about law that's what you do not do this is why your family and your friends will not welcome you anywhere they want you away from them because they know what karma you have done you do not threaten somebody's biker family about law you just don't do that you're ignorant as hell so you were trying to bring violence well, guess what? Be careful what you say in the universe because you were trying to bring smoke and violence and you're talking about the law threatening me. You threaten me, you get them all. That's your consequences and that's what your family is going to let you two grieve with. You two are about to learn the hard way to stop screwing with everybody else. You two are going to have to learn a very hard lesson to stop going after people. 
Yeah, then we got travel. Oh, we got travel and release control. So you were trying to control the fact. So you got a hold of people of trying to travel down here. and It is in reverse. You try to control somebody to come down here or multiple of knowing what was done. You have no longer control over that. To tell people to travel to cause conflict and harm and turmoil. That is in reverse. You have no control over the situation. You're trying to control to bring people down here. Because conflict. Somebody sees a big picture that you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You're never going to be shit. Trust the universe. Yes, I do trust in the universe. Oh, so there was other stuff going on. And then turmoil, which brings toxicity, drama. Also, let me see. We got first quarter moon and Aquarius. Trust the universe. First quarter moon and Taurus. Reversed. And then we got full moon and Sagittarius see the big picture, which leads to conflict, which they cannot see the big picture of what they've done. So that's where that's why your family and your friends will not welcome you. Because you were trying to bring you were trying to have people to travel to try to get violent with me. And you are trying to control the situation. That you know what you and she has done. And you cannot stop it. This is why your family and your friends will not have nothing to do with you. They know you try to hide. And they know you're nothing but drama. That's pretty much what happened here. Yeah. And then uh, first quarter moon of Leo. Be humble. Full moon of Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. Yeah, these people have fears. This person and that other person has fears they cannot let go of. Ever since their family told them to get gone, their friends and their family told them to get the fuck gone. I feel, I really feel bad for you, but you got what's coming to you. You should have left a biker family alone. Now you guys got fears. That your shit is being revealed. And it could be your family members are getting a hold of my family members and saying what you two have done. That's why your friends and your family have nothing to do with you because they know you try to hide. You're trying to cover tracks. And I do remember talking about that. Covering tracks mean you're trying to cover up something of trying to get me jumped when the courthouse was mentioned. This has nothing to do about with being childish. This has something to do with some very serious consequences of people who's playing with somebody's energy flow. This is why you don't go false reporting on people. This is why you don't go false information and run in that mouth. Now that's why your family and your friends will not welcome you around. Because you got hostilities coming your way. You want smoke? You put it out in the universe? This is what you're going to get and also her too. This is why your family and your friends will not help you. You try, you try to go and hide. These people are going to decline you. They're going to walk the fuck away from you. Be like, what the fuck have you done? Whose family have you pissed off? Because you're putting them in danger. You guys are going to soon be on the run. Eventually. And that's where the fear is. Since my family knows what you said to me, they know how to put the fear in God and others. But you're doing it. That's why your family walked away from you because you and her don't know how to keep your fucking mouth shut. You guys get figured out too much. You guys leave too much trails. This is also why your family and your friends have nothing to do with you because you guys don't know when to shut the fuck up. You guys don't know when to leave others alone. This is pretty much your family and your friends coming in telling me that you and her are being left the fuck out. Meaning, they're going to be walking away from you twos because they know what you guys have pulled. 
They don't want nothing to do with it. They already seen what you have tried to hide. What she's tried to hide. They've already seen it. Word has gone around. That you twos were trying to hide the involvements. Now you guys cannot actually, you guys cannot let your fears go. Now also thinking about too, when you threaten the law on me and I'm a biker family, this is where you are fearful when you got to threaten me. There, there, there's actually a difference. You are threatening me because you're scared of me. Because you know what I speak is the truth. The reasons why you're false informationing on me and doing a false report on me is because you're just intimidated by me. You are fearful. Because you may have heard about me. I've done tarot. I have called out some things that didn't come out right away. But it has came true. And I have the proof of showing that eventually stuff does come out in divine timing. So your family got a hold of whoever you were trying to send my way to tell them to not do it. Because you and her are about to learn a very harsh lesson of whose biker family you're messing with. And this is why you're this is why you guys are gonna be in grief. You got the tower crumbling down. Bad fortune, bad luck. Nobody wants to be around you because of what you're doing. Others and people have heard what happened at that courthouse. And you want to sit there and lie about it when others have actually known the truth. So you're going to have to sit in your turmoil. You literally, your family got a hold of my family saying, Hey, look, I'm really sorry for what my family members have done. But I understand you got to do what you got to do. So your family members are not sticking up for you too. Because your family has saw what I have been posting. They have reason. Like they're reasonable. And they know that you two have fucked up. They know I'm just posting up truth and facts. They know that, that this family knows that you two should have left me alone. So now there's travel coming, violence coming, turmoil, conflicts coming. Your guys' way that you're going to be fearful that people are going to have nothing to do with you. Because you try to get others involved and this could possibly lead to people feeling mentally trapped. Don't know what to do. This is why you leave people alone. There are some people who are humble. Who understands you do not do that. You leave people alone. Also that too. Like I said. Hostilities. You know. This is where people don't want to have nothing to do with you. Not even friends. Not even family. People don't want to even want to be around you. Because they know what karma is coming. They, they know there's going to have to be a balance. And God is warning these people to stand clear of both. So they don't get the backlash of what yous are trying to pull. You know. This is really something. Now I understand why my cards bursted out on the floor. Because this was a lot of messages that my ancestors wanted to give me. And also. That too. This just shows me. That I'm not the problem here. They too are. This just shows me straight up. That they're the problem. They're the issue. Well guess what. Not my problem. This is your guys' energy. Not mine. So when you started coming at me. I started picking up on your energy. This has nothing to do with me. This has everything to do with you too. And your family has also been in. The energy flow too. Some of them don't want nothing to do with you twos. Because they know what's about to come. And you guys should have known better. But I'm going to go on and get off of here and have a nice day.